What we're going over in this video is how to find the center of mass or the center of gravity, the centroid, whatever you want to call it, of an area. And so that's found with x bar and y bar. Now x bar is the x coordinate of the center of mass of an area and y bar is the y coordinate of the center of mass of an area. And they are found through the integrals of the integral across an area of x tilde dA divided by the integral of dA across the area. Then it's pretty much the same with y bar except for its y tilde. Now that x and y tilde are the x and y centers of mass of this area, the differential area that we're calculating. And that's what dA is. And so kind of as a little example here of the example problem we're going over a little bit later is here we have our curve and that is bounded by each of these axes and then what we're doing is we're adding up a bunch of differential slices of this area and now these differential slices can be either vertical like this or they can be horizontal like this and it just depends on whether we're going to integrate over the x-axis or the y-axis and so for vertical strips, you're integrating over x, and for y, you're, you're, for your horizontal strips, you're integrating over y. Now, it just depends on kind of how your function is given, which way might be easier to integrate. It might be easier to go one way or the other. In this case, it's not gonna really matter. Um, so I solved it out for x, or I solved it out for y, and so we will be integrating with respect to x, so we'll have those vertical strips. Now, our x tilde is going to be the center of mass in the x direction of our little strip. And because this strip is infinitely small, or infinitely thin, that um, center of mass in the x direction is just going to be x. And then our center of mass in the y direction is just going to be in the middle of the strip. So y divided by 2. And then um, for y, you'd just be plugging in this function because the area is just going to be the width divided by the height. Now the width is going to be our dx, our differential width. And then our y is going to just be the line of the function. And so that's where you'd plug in the function y for the height of the function. And so, that being said, let's get into the example problem. And what we have is we have a plate that is, um, it's flat on each of these two sides. They're 16 feet wide, or long, or whatever. And then this side is, um, follows the curve the squared y plus the squared x equals 4. And over here, I've solved that out for y. The plate is 0.25 feet thick, and the density of it is 180 pounds per cubic foot. And so what we need to do is we need to find the centroid of this plate, and then we need to find the tension in each of these cables needed to support this weight. So to begin with, let's find x bar, and then we'll find y bar. So x bar equals the integral from 0 to 16 because we're integrating along our x-axis and this is 16 feet wide so we're going to go from 0 to 16 and then x tilde like we said was just x in this case because we're integrating with um, the vertical strips or in other words with respect to dx and so dA is going to be y, which is the height, times dx, which is the width. And then divide that by the integral from 0 to 16. And dA is just going to be the same as this dA on the bottom, or as it is on the top. So y times by dx. So now if we plug in for y, our equation this is going to equal the integral from 0 to 16 of um, 
x times by this function and that is going to be x squared minus 8x square root of x plus 16x dx divided by this function plugged in for y so 0 to 16 x minus 8 square root of x minus or plus 16 dx. Now I'm not going to go through the um, integration of this. This is a pretty simple integral to integrate. Um, but plugging that into your calculator, you get that, that on top is 136.53 and on the bottom is 42.67. Now the reason why I'm writing those separately right now is because the dA right here for x bar is the same as the dA for the integral of the dA on for the y bar. And so this 42.67 is going to be the same here. And so we won't need to calculate it again. But plugging this into your calculator, you get that is 3.2. And so the x coordinate of the center mass of this plate is going to be 3.2 feet away from this corner right here. So we're going to write that up here. The x bar equals 3.2. Now, if you're noticing and paying attention, you'll see that this um, shape is symmetrical along the diagonal. And so y bar is going to be the same as x bar. But if you didn't see that, you could integrate it. And for the purpose of understanding this well, we are going to calculate it. So y bar is going to equal the integral from 0 to 16 again, because um, it goes up to 16 on the y axis, starts at 0. And then y tilde, like we said, was y over 2, since we're doing it with vertical strips, the center of mass in the y direction for this little strip is going to be y divided by 2. Multiply that by dA, which is still going to be y times by dx, the height times the width, divided by dA, the integral of dA, so y times by dx, but we don't need to calculate that because we already know it's 42.46 or 67 I mean because it's the same as in with our x bar equation um, plugging in our equation for y that will be 0 to 16 we're going to pull out this one half in front of here and that will be this equation x minus 8 square root of x plus 16 squared because y times y is that x squared. So this is a little bit more complicated integral, but once again, we're not going to do it out by hand. And plugging that into your calculator, you get 136.53 divided by 42.67. If you'll notice, that was the same as before. So this is going to be 30 or 3.2 feet again. So we have that y bar is also 3.2. So now that we've found the centroid of this area, we can go ahead and find, um, we could start working on finding what each of the tensions in these cables are. And so, to find that, we need to know the area of this, which would just be the integral of this function, which we've already done with the integral of dA. So we know that the area, our area equals 42.67. And then our volume is going to be that area multiplied by the thickness of the plate, which is 0.25. So we'll just multiply 42.67 by 0 0.25 and that equals 
0.67 cubic feet. Now to get the weight, which is really what we're after, we need to mul multiply the volume by the density. So our weight is going to equal 10.67 cubic feet times by 180 pounds per cubic foot. And those units of cubic feet are going to cancel out. That'll leave us with units of um, weight. And that equals 1920 pounds. So our weight is 1920 pounds acting at our centroid that we found earlier, which is 3.2 feet away from both the X and Y axes. So that's kind of like um, your weight here. I'm just going to erase this real quick. We have like our weight acting right here of 1920 pounds. So what we can do is we can sum moments to find, um, find what each of the tensions in the cables are. But what we need to do is we need to sum moments about a point or a, a line really that will get rid of two of these. And what, so we can sum moments about the X axis and the Y axis to be able to cancel out two of the um, tensions in the cables each time we do that. So let's say we're going to sum moments about the x-axis and that's going to equal zero because it is in equilibrium. And so A and B are in line with the axis so they're not going to cause rotation. But we have our 1920 pounds which is 3.2 feet away from that axis as we found with our centroid, so multiply that by 3.2 minus C, our tension in C, multiplied by 16 because it is 16 feet away from our x-axis. And solving that we get the T sub C, our tension in our cable C, equals 384 pounds. And what you'll notice since this is symmetrical is that our tension or our cable A is going to be the same thing. We find the same thing if we sum moments about the Y axis. So we're just going to write here that T sub A also equals 384 pounds. Now we can sum forces in the Z direction to find the, what T sub B is. And now it equals zero because it is an equilibrium. So we have that T sub B plus T sub A plus T sub C. And since there's two of those, we're just going to multiply that by 384. And then minus our weight, 1920 pounds. Solve for T sub B and you get that T sub B equals 1,152 pounds. So that, that cable is taking a lot more of the weight because it is a lot closer to our centroid. So there's a pretty simple example of finding the um, centroid of an area and really it's not too difficult once you understand those integrals. And then we have a little example problem where you can see how the knowing what the centroid was was essential to finding the tensions in each of those cables. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments and I will reply to them. Um, I've got my website up and going, gostudentengineering.com. It has all my videos up there with a little bit more descriptions written out of the process of how to um, go through these concepts and solve these kinds of problems. So go check that out. It helps me out a lot. If you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering, and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.